Hey kindergarten, I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday today and you're ready to get started with math. So let's do it. All right, for our number talk this morning, we are going to work on composing and decomposing numbers. So I'm going to compose a number for you really fast here. Hold on. All right, so take a look at this number that I have composed. Count this number. What number do I have here? You may want to press pause. Okay, so this number here, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the number eight. Now, to decompose eight, remember decompose means where we take the number and we break it apart into two separate numbers. So let's look at ways that we can decompose the number eight. So take a look and in your brain, think about how could I decompose eight? One way I could decompose eight is if I take one counter and I bring the rest over here. What two numbers did I decompose from eight? One and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight can be decomposed into one and seven. All right, let's compose eight again, put it back together. What's another way I can decompose eight? What if I take two this time and put the rest over here? Now, how have I decomposed eight? I've decomposed eight into one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So eight can be decomposed into two and six. Two and six makes eight. Let's do one more way. What's another way I could decompose eight? Could I decompose eight by taking half and putting them here and half and putting them here? How have I decomposed eight now? I've decomposed eight into one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So eight can be decomposed into four and four. All right, we'll work some more on composing and decomposing next time. Let's go ahead and look at our word problem of the day now. Let me make our apps check mat here. Okay, let's read the problem together. And I'm sorry, it's a little crooked. There we go. Silas cut out two pink hearts and six red hearts. How many hearts did Silas cut out all together? Okay, let's read this one more time and listen really carefully for the question that we're being asked to answer. Listen carefully as I read again. Silas cut out two pink hearts and six red hearts. How many hearts did Silas cut out all together? Okay, did you hear the question? How many hearts did Silas cut out all together? See, it ends with a question mark. So this is the question that we need to solve and answer. Now let's go back and listen for important information about the hearts. That's gonna help us to solve this problem. Silas cut out two pink hearts and six red hearts. What did you hear that's important from that sentence? Two pink hearts and six red hearts. Those two numbers help us to know how many hearts Silas cut out, right? It tells us how many of each color. So that's gonna be important when we go to plan. Let's move on to planning how we're going to solve this problem now. Okay, so we are either going to add or subtract and we'll fill out the part, part whole mat. Okay. 
So Silas cut out two pink hearts and six red hearts. We want to know how many he cut out all together. This all together word helps me to know we want to figure out the whole. How many all together? So that's what we're missing is the whole. We know that he cut out two pink and six red. We need to know how many all together. So if we know there's pink and red, we wanna know how many all together, we need to join them together. When we join together, are we adding or subtracting? We're going to need to add, okay? And anytime we have two parts and we need to figure out the whole, we have to add to do that. So we're going to add two plus six to figure out how many he has all together. So I want you to press pause on the video right now. And I, at home, I want you to add two plus six and see if you can get the correct answer and then we'll check it together. Okay, so at home, you may have used Legos or you may have drawn a picture. You may have used coins. However you figured out this problem, let's check it together now. Okay, so Silas cut out two pink hearts. One, two. And then six red hearts. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many hearts did Silas cut out all together? So to figure out all together, we need to count how many there are all together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight. So Silas cut out eight hearts all together. Now before I answer, I'm going to check my work one more time in a different way. This time I think I'll check it by drawing a picture. Okay, so Silas cut out two pink hearts, one, two, and then six red hearts. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Let's count how many there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So both times we solved this problem, we got eight. So I know for sure two plus six equals eight. And also we can answer the question. How many hearts did Silas cut out all together? He cut out eight. Okay, let's move on to our math lesson for the day now. We're gonna work some more on subtracting today. Let me get these counters out of our way. Oops. So remember, when we subtract, do we join or do we separate? When we subtract, we separate, okay? We take apart. So let's look at a number sentence to start with and we'll do some practice and then we're going to work on a few word problems that involve subtraction. Okay, so if we have this number sentence here, let's work on solving this. So six minus three. For six minus three, we need to build six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here's six. Now, when we subtract, do I need to put three more or do I need to take away three? When we subtract, we need to take away. So I'm going to take away three. One, two, three. How many are left? One, two, Three. So six minus three equals three. Okay, let's try one more. And this time I'm going to have you press pause on this one and solve it on your own. So here's the problem. I want you to press pause and see if you can answer eight minus three on your own at home and then we'll check it together. So press pause now. Okay, to figure out eight minus three, you should have started by building eight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here's eight. Now we need to subtract or take away three. So if I am subtracting, do I need to put three more or do I need to take three? I've got to take away, right? We separate when we subtract. So let's separate out three. One, two, three. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five. So eight minus three equals five. Eight minus three equals five. Okay, let's look at a word problem now to work together. Listen carefully. If I can get it straight, I'm sorry. Let's be straight on your screen. There we go. Okay, Isabella bought six chocolate covered strawberries. She ate three of them. How many strawberries does Isabella have now? Okay, so let's think about what's going on here. So Isabella bought six chocolate strawberries. One, chocolate covered strawberries. Two, three, four, five, six. She bought six to start with. Now she ate three of them. So if Isabella is eating three chocolates, if you eat something, would you be adding then or subtracting? Think about it. I have these six chocolates here. If I eat three of them, am I going to be putting three more on my plate or am I gonna be taking three away? You're taking away when you eat, right? So we're gonna be doing six minus three. And let's see what it equals. How many will there be after I eat three? So six, take away three. One, two, three. How many are left? One, two, three. So six, take away three equals three. How many strawberries does Isabella have now? She has three. All right, we're going to work one more. This time I'm going to read the problem to you and then I'm going to have you try it out on your own at home and then we'll check it together. So listen carefully, I'm gonna read it twice before I have you solve it. Listen carefully both times. Mark had 10 Valentines for his class. He passed out six of the Valentines. How many Valentines does Mark have left? Listen one more time before you solve. Mark had 10 Valentines for his class. He passed out 10 of the Valentines. How many Valentines does Mark have left? All right, so now you may press pause and try to solve this one on your own. Okay, let's see how you did. So you should have first represented the 10 Valentines that Mark made for his class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are the ten Valentines. Now he passed out six of them. So if he's passing out Valentines, is he going to be putting more in his box or is he going to be taking some away? If he's passing them out, he's going to be getting rid of them. So we've got to take six away. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many Valentines does Mark have left? One, two, three, four. So the number sentence that we just used was 10 because he started with 10 minus because we had to take away six equals, there were four left. Mark started with 10 Valentines, he passed out six, now he has four left. So the correct answer was four. How did you do on that subtraction problem? Hopefully you're starting to get it down, but we're gonna keep working on it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more subtraction. Bye.